Hello, this is Andre Battles of How and Why the Bible Answer Guy with another devotional from our book, Jesus Calling from March the 1st, Being Anxious. When something in your life or your thoughts make you anxious, come to Jesus and talk about it. Bring Jesus your prayer and your petition with thanksgiving, saying, Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity to trust you more. Though the lessons of trust come to you wrapped in difficulties, the benefits far outweigh the cost. Well-developed trust will bring you many blessings, not the least of which is my peace. I have promised to keep you in perfect peace to the extent that you trust in me. The world has it backwards, teaching that peace is the result of having enough money, possessions, insurance, or security systems. My peace, however, is such an all-encompassing gift that it is independent of all circumstances. Although you lose everything else, if you gain my peace, Jesus' peace, you have gained everything. Our scripture reading for today is taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto the Father. There's a line in today's devotional that says, Thank Jesus for the opportunity to trust Him more. Though the lessons of trust that He sends to you come wrapped in difficulties, the benefits far outweigh the cost. Lessons of trust being wrapped in difficulty. That's a pretty deep and profound statement. Because often when we're looking for encouragement or we're looking for our spiritual muscles to develop, we don't see difficulty as an opportunity to grow. It is more so an inconvenience to our conscience or to our psyche. And that's why I think that with most of our energy, we're trying to create or control the narrative where there is no difficulty. Listen, we are normally anxious because we are anticipating difficulty. Let's just be real. If I'm worried about a bill that needs to be paid, I'm tempted to be anxious. If I'm worried whether or not my spouse is cheating, I'm tempted to be anxious. If my kids are rebellious and I don't seem to be able to find the answer, I'm anxious or tempted to be. Anxiety comes at every corner. Look at anxiety as an opportunity to grow, not as an opportunity to invest yourself in stress, fear, or worry. Because although anxious thoughts will come, you decide whether or not they control. And you do that when you leave the situation in God's hands. Well, once again, this is Andre Battles with another devotional from our book, Jesus Calling. I'm very grateful that you've been coming, hitting the share button, liking, commenting. You're right around 25 views per day. I want you to help me to grow that view count to about 50 views per day. And you'll do that by copying and pasting the link and sharing it, by commenting, and by letting others know what's happening here. And by God's grace, I'll see you tomorrow.